What is up, YouTube? This is Barnon11970, and as always, I thank you for watching my video. Alright guys, I'm going to do another demonstration for you guys, and hopefully this will give you a better perspective of how the way that the Fed and the United States of America Corporation tricks us into um, giving us the illusion that not only do we have a strong dollar, but inflation can't happen. And I'm going to explain to you pretty much how they get away with this and how and why it's not going to last forever. So... Let's go back to the water glasses, and you'll see I added an extra glass. So this is what we're going to do. Right back here, you see this full bottle here. We're going to use that as the Federal Reserve. This big cup right here is going to be the United States of America Corporation, and these other assorted glasses are going to be other countries in the world. Which ones is really irrelevant, so that doesn't matter. And if you want, we could pretend that's Egypt. That has nothing to do with it. All right, so... The first thing that we have is quantitative easing. That's where the federal government is pumping $85 billion worth of fiat currency, which is backed by nothing. So it has really no value other than the fact that the government gives it value into the United States of America Corporation. So we'll take the Federal Reserve right here, and we're going to pour money in. Now, if you notice, the glass can only fit so much water. So if the Federal Reserve kept pumping into this money and it's, it didn't go anywhere, it would overflow, which would basically be inflation. Now, this is the scam or the trick or the illusion. What the United States of America does is it sends a lot of its money overseas. So here's a little bit for France, a little bit for Japan. I'm spilling it all over the place. A little bit for Greece, a little bit for Japan. China, and let's just say whatever, Yugoslavia, who cares, it's irrelevant. So what the United States of America does is every time the Federal Reserve pumps money into the U.S. government to keep it at a certain level, it distributes its dollars throughout the world. That's why the world currency. Now, when we see that these countries are printing more of their own currency to devalue their own currencies... You can see how the process can continue, because now you see these are empty again, which means at any point again, the Federal Reserve can fill up the United States with the fiat currency. They can take that currency and distribute it throughout the world. The world starts devaluing their currency, and the cycle continues. Now, that's what prevents inflation from happening in the United States of America, because all of that money is being distributed throughout the world. Now, here's where the problem exists. What's happening is the more these countries print more and more money, it becomes less and less valuable to the point where the, the rest of the world is going to start saying, well, wait a minute, the United States keeps pumping all this money that it can print to infinity. We're getting all this money. Things are getting more and more expensive. Not because things are getting more expensive. It's the fact that their currencies are worth less and less. So eventually, all of that extra that was around the countries, around the world, is eventually going to get sent back here, and it's going to fill this glass up to the point where all these glasses will make this overflow, creating an inflationary situation in the United States of America Corporation. So that is basically the illusion. As long as they keep this scam going, and the other countries have the confidence in that dollar, well, then this, it could basically go to infinity. But what will happen is, because they keep devaluing their currencies, so this way it gives the illusion of a stronger dollar, based on my other video, it can't last forever. Eventually things will get so expensive, because you'll need so much of this worthless, or soon-to-be worthless fiat currency, that it will all start coming back into the United States, which will overflow this cup, overflow the economy, and that could potentially cause a collapse in the system. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit better idea of how the money system works and how the scam and Ponzi scheme, scheme continues. It's like any Ponzi scheme. For a Ponzi scheme to work, you have to have the people at the top get more recruiting people. They, in turn, have to get more people. They, in turn, have to get more people. So as long as there's a continuation... It could virtually go forever, but that would mean we would have infinity people. That's just not the case. The same thing with even paper, dollars, any kind of currency. 
there is a finite amount. Yes, we can grow a lot of trees and it can last for a very long time, but the more they print stuff, the more it devalues and eventually it has less and less worth to the, worth to the point where there is a possible collapse. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments at the beep and drink your water. Just make sure it's fluoride free and filtered. Peace.